fact, The Office is one of the greatest comedies of all time. The Office is about a documentary crew that films the lives of the staff at Dunder Mifflin, a paper company in Scranton. During each season, the crew get deeper into the lives of each staff member, filming intimate moments that never should have been caught on tape. The story initially seems bare bones, but after you pass the first season, it really picks up. The entire series killed me. It was absolutely hilarious. The idea behind each episode felt unique, and it wasn't pulled from any other sitcoms. It was entirely original. Because of this, the jokes, although dry, land quite often and keep the show from getting stale. The writing overall was phenomenal, especially when you talk about the characters. Michael, Dwight, Jim, Pam, Angela, Daryl, Andy. All of these characters are memorable. Each has a backstory that slowly developed over the course of each season, making me yearn to learn more. I really wanted two characters, no spoilers, to get together, and was quite pleased when they did. And just when you think the romance starts to grow stale, another relationship blossoms. This is how The Office entertained for nine whole years. This is what skyrockets The Office into one of the greatest sitcoms. There was such a great ensemble cast that even replacing one would make the show worse. Even the lesser characters like Creed, Oscar, Phyllis, Robert, Kevin, Kelly, Ryan, all were played by great actors. Then there's the main cast, Jim Halpert, played by John Krasinski, did a lot better than I thought he would. He starts off a little rocky, but rises up among the best players later on. Pam Beasley, played by Jenna Fisher, was not only beautiful, easily lighting up the office, but her chemistry with John Krasinski was intense, creating lots of subtle sexual tension that always intrigued me. Andy Bernard, played by Ed Holmes, was absolutely hilarious and was easily one of the best casting choices. Then there was Dwight Schrute, played by Rain Wilson. Dwight is probably the most over-the-top, original character ever seen on the small screen, and Rain portrayed him perfectly. Finally, there's Michael Scott, played by Steve Carell. Michael's character was insanely overwhelming. Rude, stupid, desperate, and annoying. All of these qualities make him sound like the worst character on the show. And yet, when it comes down to it, Michael Scott is my favorite character of all time, whether it's small or big screen. When he left the office, I actually shed a tear. Hey, about what a great pause I Damn onions! <laughs> Unfortunately, only a handful of seasons of The Office are available on Blu-ray, but the DVDs were of impeccable quality. The upscaled HD was excellent from season one, and widescreen support for every episode was well appreciated. In addition, the episodes are spread across four or five discs every season further enhancing the quality of the show as a whole. The Office also sports a wealth of special features, such as deleted scenes for every episode, and a spectacular finale documentary, which is definitely worth watching. Add in a fantastic main theme, and there's absolutely nothing I can say about the show that's bad. Overall, The Office is one of the best sitcoms of all time and deserves a place on your shelf next to your complete series of Friends. If you haven't seen our Friends review, stay tuned after the video to click the link. However, because of its dry sense of humor, it's definitely not for everyone. The Office gets a 9 out of 10. So thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and share it on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All the links for those can be found in the description below. Also, don't forget to subscribe by hitting that big button over there. And while you're at it, why not click that email checkbox so that our videos don't get buried with all the other channels you're subscribed to. I'm Zach. And I'm Kyle. And we're Battlefront, Battlefront Productions. Productions. Really? Can you make the subscribe button bigger than us? Well, it is prettier than us.